Hello, everybody. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I promise you I want to make content that has nothing to do with FTX, but this shit is freaking crazy. There's been an apparent hack on FTX, and all of a sudden, a lot of funds are gone. And I'm going to cover this in just a moment. Before I go any further, I do want to give a shout out to the sponsor of the channel, Algorand Casino. Algorand Casino is one of the premier entertainment and gaming sites on the Algorand blockchain. If you want a full and complete how-to demo, I did a quick two-minute breakdown. Just click on this link up above. Algorand Casino is definitely a fun time, and you don't buy chips on Algorand Casino. Algorand Casino actually gives you free chips. If you want to purchase chips, you have to get them in a third-party application like Tiny Man. Guys, what's happening right now with FTX is absolutely freaking insane. So for anybody that doesn't know what's been happening or living under a rock, FTX is the second largest global exchange and the second largest United States exchange or first largest, depending on the time of the day. It's always FTX, US, and Coinbase. <clears throat> FTX apparently had assets and liabilities. The assets that they had, they overstated the amount that they have, and a lot of the assets were in FTX token. That FTX token value in their assets was more than the entire market cap of FTX token. Besides for that, FTX token, 10 wallets held 93% of all the FTX tokens, and most of the volume was pumped by FTX exchange. FTX exchange got, FTX exchange ended up taking fees, they take the fees from the exchange, they pump it into FTX token, FTX token goes up, they get investors, investors pump the token, the token goes up more, people use the exchange more, so on and so forth. Flywheel effect. Fast forward a little bit and nobody knows who or what, but a bank run was started. Binance CZ says he's selling all of his FTX token that started a bank run and they don't have enough liabilities to cover it. And as they're going through the books, it seems like there was commingling of funds. What's commingling of funds? When you're an exchange, you have a fiduciary duty to hold somebody's money, to hold somebody's crypto. So if I deposit $100 into FTX, FTX needs to hold my $100 worth of Bitcoin, for example. What FTX does is, or apparently, allegedly, all rumors, yada, yada, so on and so forth. This is not 100% fact. I'm just giving you per my opinion and the rumors on the street, they're using those funds, they were sending it to Almeida, Almeida was buying other things, and essentially all those FTX arenas, all those crazy sponsorships, da 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 was all used with your funds. Then when shit hits the fan, then when shit hits the fan, on Sunday, over $5 billion of withdrawals were going through, and they couldn't cover a $5 billion worth of withdrawals. Binance wants to buy them, this is due diligence, and Binance, less than 24 hours later, says, yo, FTX is whack. We're not going to buy them. This entire time, FTX is like, hey, FTX US is good. I was warning people on this channel. I was warning people on Twitter. And you'll go through my comments and you're going to see people say, hey, Adam, you don't know anything about FTX US. But the writing was on the wall. FTX US then closes withdrawals, but trading is still uh, available. FTX then closes its doors, and in the craziest, craziest turn of event, all of a sudden, FTX announces that there's a hack. Don't open up FTX app. Don't open up FTX US app. And all of a sudden, hundreds of millions of dollars, and I mean upwards of half a billion dollars, is gone. And where is Sam Bankman Freed? Where in the world is Waldo? Well, where in the world is Sam Bankman-Fried is the $500 million question. Guys, let me read you this article really fast. It's absolutely insane. And I have to keep covering FTX because this is the news. And this is going to shape the cryptocurrency landscape for many, many years, if not a decade to come. Besides for FTX, of course, you know, BlockFi is going under. And there's a lot of scrutiny right now about the YouTubers or the social media influencers that covered FTX, that gave promo codes for FTX. And I'll cover that in a moment. I'll give you my own personal opinion on that. Guys, I'm going to be using this Coindesk article, but every single time you look at the article, every single time you track funds, this article came out five hours ago. It says 600 million, more than 600 million. 
An article that came out before this one was 400 million. And then an article that came out an hour ago says a billion dollars worth. So nobody really knows. And this story is literally being written as we go along. It says FTX faces potential hacks, these mysterious outflows totaling more than $600 million. FTX officials appear to confirm rumors of a hack on Telegram instructing users to delete FTX apps and avoid its website. Guys, who the F would hack? Who the F would hack FTX as they're going through bankruptcy? It don't make freaking sense. You feel me? It don't make freaking sense. And I quote, FTX has been hacked. FTX apps are malware. Delete them. Chat is open. Don't go to FTX site as it might download Trojans, wrote an account administrator. In the FTX support telegram group, the message was pinned by FTX general counsel, Ryan Miller. Remember, most of general counsel for FTX quit on Tuesday night, if I'm not mistaken, during this whole buying out of FTX from Binance or potential with the letter of intent. According to on-chain data, various Ethereum tokens, as well as Solana and Binance smart chain tokens have exited FTX's official wallets and moved to decentralized exchanges like One Inch. Both FTX and FTX US appear to be affected. And this is the tweet from Miller. He's their attorney. Investigation abnormalities, I can't pronounce this, abnormalities with wallet movements related to consolidation of FTX balances across exchanges, unclear facts as other movements, not clear. We'll share more info as soon as I have it. Guys, this is freaking absolutely insane. Now, if you go back to this article right here, this just came out. This is by Reuters, exclusive. At least $1 billion of client funds missing from FTX. That's crazy. FTX founder Bank Manfred Fried secretly moved $10 billion into funds to trading firm Almeida sources. Bank Manfred showed spreadsheets of colleagues and that revealed shift in funds to Almeida resources. That's what I was saying before, that they were commingling funds. So Almeida was the finance and economic arm of Sam Bankman Fried, but he was using it as a personal bank, piggy bank. So he was taking money, allegedly, rumor has, from FTX, FTX US, and he was just sending it to Almeida. And Almeida was using that money to bail out BlockFi, apparently Voyager, buying FTX Arena. By the way, FTX Arena, Miami, the Miami uh, Heat is saying that they, FTX owes them like $13 million because of a breach of contract. I'll read that in a moment. Spreadsheets indicate between one and $2 billion in client money is unaccounted for, sources say. Executives set up bookkeeping, backdoor, and thwarted red flag sources. Whereabouts of missing funds is unknown. At least $1 billion of customers' funds have vanished from collapsed crypto exchange FTX, according to two people familiar with the matter. And then there's like a lot of rumors coming out. This is from Mario Nafal. He's heavy into crypto. He's a crypto personality. Reports of SMS messages and emails being sent by FTX to customers to log into the app and website, which are affected with Trojan as part of the hack. FTX has millions of users. Things are about to get worse. Please warn as many people as you can before it's too late. And this is the crypto market. It seems like we can't get any traction. We're now at just under 850 billion. We're currently down 3.2% and trending tokens, FTX tokens and Solana. Guys, be very careful if you have Solana. Treat Solana like FTX, honestly. Be very effing careful about Solana. You guys don't want to hear it. You guys don't want to see it. But Solana was one of the main reasons why they were good was because of Sam Bankman Freed. No more Papa Freed. Hmm. Definitely a big, big problem. And as you can see, the entire crypto market is down. Um, nothing is really looking pretty. But Solana definitely got hit more than most cryptos. Like if you go to the last seven days, Solana got hit literally the worst out of all cryptos. Now, there is a lot of rumors about crypto.com and there's a lot of proof of reserves now that a lot of exchanges are coming out with showing you how much money they actually have in reserves. I think I'm gonna make a whole series about that and cover all of the different reserves. Now, let me talk about the social media influencers and people talking about FTX and FTX US. A lot of people promoted FTX and FTX US, a lot of social media influencers. A lot of people got hurt with those promotions. A lot of social media influencers are now coming out and apologizing, and that's good. A lot of them are just apologizing to save face. A lot of them are doing half-felt 
apologies. Like, not really, oh, I'm sorry, I effed up. More like, yeah, whatever. And as shit is going to hit the fan, I have a feeling there's going to be repercussions in the future. My issue is it's very bad that people got hurt with this. More so on top of that, my issue as a person that talks about crypto and things like that, a lot of these influencers now are talking shit about crypto. And in general, a lot of influencers now, the finance guys who don't know effing Jack's shit when it comes to crypto, now all of a sudden crypto is the bad guy. Crypto is wrong. Crypto is pure. Greedy people that try to centralize cryptocurrency and control cryptocurrency is the exact reason why cryptocurrency was created so this doesn't happen. Cryptocurrency expanded and spiraled out of control from Bitcoin to what we have right now, the entire crypto market. Shame on you if you are completely shitting on crypto because of clicks and likes. Let me say this again. Most of these YouTubers will sell their freaking soul. They are 100% whores, prostitutes, and sluts. They will sell out their own mother for clicks and likes. And that's a fact, Jack. That's for sure. So now they're jumping on the bandwagon of crypto is bad. Oh, but crypto is supposed to be decentralized. The hedge against inflation. Shut the F up. And you guys know exactly who you guys are. You know who I'm talking about. It's not right what you're doing. Crypto in itself is pure. Crypto in itself works. Crypto in itself, the blockchain works. People are just not smart enough to use DeFi, but I am teaching people how to use DeFi, not financial advice, purely entertainment and education. DeFi still works. You're not stopping me from sending funds from point A to point B, which is what crypto was originally intended to be. It was not intended to be on an exchange. It was not intended to have leverage 10x. It was not intended to have margin 10x. This is where all this shit is coming from. Traditional finance methods are being applicated for crypto. And that's what is corrupting crypto. So shame on you guys for shitting on crypto and not understanding crypto and making fun of crypto. And that's okay. Crypto gonna survive, crypto gonna move forward. Now I can't give you guys financial advice. I personally know that Algorand made a statement and I personally know that Hedera made a statement that they have nothing to do with FTX. Their funds are safe. They don't use a third party custodian and that they're okay. So I personally hold Algorand and I personally hold Hedera. If you guys been following me, I love Algorand and I love Hedera. You know, if you guys wanna sign up to my channel, feel free. Thank you so much, I appreciate you guys. And again, I'm sorry that all my content right now is heavily on FTX and the drama of crypto, but I think this is very, very important. Um, and I think people need to be apprised of the situation. I think people need to know what the F is going on and it's literally unfolding before our eyes. This can quite possibly shape the entire crypto economy, cryptoverse for the next 10 years. You better bet your bottom dollar, Gary Gensler is watching with a microscope. And this goes a lot deeper than Sam Bankman Fried and FTX. There's a lot of big people in this and politics and stuff like that that are undoubtedly involved. I don't know who those people are, but just if you start connecting the dots and start seeing things. Uh, is Sam on the run? I don't know. We'll see. I'll keep, I'll keep, you know, making videos on this. And I made a video yesterday showing people how to take their funds off of an exchange and put it into DeFi. This is the video right here. It literally does a full demo breakdown, easy to follow, how to set up a trust wallet and how to send crypto into your trust wallet. Trust wallet probably covers 90% of crypto. And then if you want a specific type of demo, just let me know. Have a great day.